Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're going to talk some Six Flags Magic Mountain. That's right, some rumors are abounding and some activity is happening on the 2025 roller co new roller coaster edition, rumored roller coaster edition, so let's get right into it. So I was at Six Flags Holiday in the Park um, last weekend, had a great time, and I was going to show some uh, film a construction update, but not too much was happening just yet. But they did finish the new entrance, which is quite, or they uh, took away the ticket boots and put up some Christmas trees at the entrance, which is quite nice. But I want to go and check on the Golden Bear Theater because, yes, a demolition permit was issued last week for the destruction of that Golden Bear Theater. And when I went to the park, no work had been issued yet, or no new markers or anything had been issued, but the, today, the demolition permit was approved or was issued by the city of Santa Clarita. So, yeah, now work can potentially commence on the demolition of the Golden Bear Theater. I want to go maybe check on there tonight. But rumors were bounding. Remember, I did a video earlier of a potential Giga Coaster rumor coming that spot. A lot of rumors online were abounding about what could replace the Golden Bear Theater. And it's for sure a new attraction. And a lot of people are saying it's a new roller coaster. And the placement for the roller coaster new attraction is very interesting because remember there's kind of markers of work happening on the former Lucky Dragon um, restaurant up there on Samurai Summit. Rumors have also abounded that potentially ninjas on the chopping block. Selene, uh, CEO Selene Basul himself has said that he wanted to get rid of old attractions at Six, uh, Six Flags Parks and replace them with new attractions, older attractions are, you know, higher maintenance costs, so it actually saves them money in the long run to get rid of those and replace them with new attractions. Also, unless they're a classic attractions like Revolution or something, um, they're not really favorable or popular with the guests, so it, it's a good business solution to get rid of the old, out with the old, and in with the new. Samurai and Summer, Samurai Sun, Summer in general, general was closed for the the top of the, you can access the hill during holiday in the park on Saturday. Usually it's, even if it's closed during the week, it's open on the weekend, so it's very interesting because Superman and Ninja were closed. But usually that means something's probably afoot up there because, yeah, it's been closed like that since Fright Fest. You can even go up there, or you can go up there for a Fright Fest. But before that and after Fright Fest, it's been closed. So it's very curious to see what's happening. Because if you look at the map, you see Ninja, the Lucky Fortune, or the, not the Lucky Fortune, the Lucky Dragon restaurant, the former that's now sitting abandoned, and the theater are kind of all in this diagonal type of line there. The Lucky Dragon restaurant has like wood coming out of it and wood chips tethered. It's really old and abandoned. Nothing has no use at all. And I've been enjoying Fright Fest. Ninja is old as well and it's really starting to show its wear and tear and doesn't look like it's under refurbishment but they're not actively working on it they have um kind of repainted some of the of the walls towards the jet stream portion of it but the actual track or anything it was just sitting there when i saw when i was walking there we're not working on it at all superman uh that's just a, probably a casualty because it's up there but nothing's probably happening with superman but i'm very curious because you know there's some work remember it happening on the sky tower as well or at least around the base of the sky tower last year it's been long rumored that samurai summit will be the next area to get a renovation and even if this coaster you know takes out the golden bear theater if you know the rumors are correct and, and speculation is correct and it takes out the lucky dragon restaurant and kind of start it could start in samurai summit and the main portion of the coaster can be down by the golden bear but the entrance can be up by samurai summit therefore the whole area of Samurai Summit gets a renovation and um, adds a new coaster to that lineup, even though the majority of the coaster will be in the front. But the coaster could also have an entrance at the front of the Golden Bear Theater towards Full Throttle as well. Sharp spotter Keith Knowles on the Facebook group, the Six Flags Magic Mountain Facebook group, noticed some work happening at the Magic Mover site. Now, I was at the same exact spot over the weekend and nothing was happening, so this was quite new. This was on Monday. Remember, the park is closed Tuesday through Thursday, so on Monday, yesterday, um, as of this recording, something was happening. A lot of people, or some construction workers, were working on the Magic Mover site, and there are spray painting and markings. I'll put the picture up for you right now. Not sure if this is for the Magic Mover or Help a Honda Express, whatever they call it now, um for a renovation to that or if it's kind of again because it's kind of near the golden bear theater it's kind of by the same right summit's on this general area so i wonder if maybe they're doing some geotechnical work or it could just be a simply a uh, maintenance and a refurb for that Ma Huffle honda express now you're probably asking 
what's the rumor? You keep saying roller coaster, but what, what type? Well, I've heard that this will be a 200-foot hyper coaster uh, focusing on speed. So instead of airtime hills, there'll be a lot of speed involved. Um, again, this total rumor. People have also speculated Giga, but maybe it's not even a coaster at all. What it could be a flat ride. Could be a uh, uh, like yeah, an intense flat ride, or a collection of flat rides, or an expansion to Bugs Bunny World. But the rumor on the streets has it it'll be a pretty big coaster for 2025, and it's, that's good because it's going to directly compete with Universal Studios Universal Studios Fast and Furious coaster, which you can see an update for in this video, um, uplinked above. But what do you guys think? What do you want to happen to this spot? Did you Are you sad about the Golden Bear Theater going away? Um, I don't know why you would be. Or I, I understand why you would be because Six Flags Smash Mountains, of course, is losing another theater. And instead of it sitting empty there all, all the time, it would be nice to have a show there. But at least to have the Gearworks Theater, which is a completely indoor theater, so it would be nice in the summertime. And hopefully they do have more entertainment and shows there. The Golden Bear Theater had private events and cheer competitions and stuff, and all that stuff is moving into the Gearworks Theater, which, again, since it doesn't really have a show, it's just used for game rooms and other private stuff. It works out perfectly, but hopefully in the future, Six Flags will add some nice entertainment as an option to take a break for the roller co from the roller coasters, especially when it's hot outside. But yeah, what do you guys think is going to go on in this spot? Are you excited to watch the construction? You can be sure to subscribe right here to Theme Park Wizard because I'll be there every single week. Um, I'll be covering the Fast and Furious coaster and one week, uh, one day of the week, and then uh, drive up to Six Flags probably on the weekend and go ahead and cover that to see the progress because I love the demolition and the, of course the construction of the new coaster or new attraction. Let me know what you guys what you guys think and what you want in the comments below. Whoever gives the best answer of the best coaster or best attraction on a free Theme Park Wizard pin. Subscribe for more Theme Park updates and updates on this new attraction. And as always, have a Six Flags Day. Do you guys want discount tickets to Theme Parks, Disney, Universal, Legoland, SeaWorld, all of them? Well, guess what? I can get you that. Thanks to the folks that get away today. We have a referral code down below in the link. You can click and get discounts and for all your vacation packages. Also, you can get tickets or discount tickets for single day tickets as well. You just click on the code, click whatever theme park you want to go to in California or Florida, and then type uh, use the code TPW. That is capital T P N W. That's it. Disney Universal, all of them. And they, if you add multiple days, the bigger the discount. Again, use that referral link down below. Uh, you'll get lots of discounts, including single day vacation packages, even on hotels, and use that code TPW. And thank you to the folks that get away today for helping us out here and helping you get some more discounts. All right, let's get right back to the video.